Number five. Um, given that I hear that there's always a balanced budget, explain the subvention funds to, to the audience and how are you going to balance your budget when the subvention funds go away? Are you talking about the money that the county was giving us? Well, yeah, that's what I was talking about, but I wanted you guys to explain it. Well, when, in, in a minute, I don't think I can explain it and answer your whole question in a minute. We already knew that there was a lawsuit. The county, when we did uh, revenue negotiation, the money that they were saving by us incorporating, they turned around and gave us, were willing to give to Wildemar that money. The lawsuit said, oh, board of supervisors, you don't have the ability, or that's beyond your not ability, but they, they didn't think it was legal. So what the county is looking at doing now is providing it in services. Could be our, it could be in public safety, i.e. the police. That's what, and I think that's the route it's gonna go, so we, we don't lose that money, we just get, you know, service for it, rather than the dollars. I can't add a whole lot more to it. That was our decision. We met and talked about it when the decision came down, and that is the only answer, is for the county to be able to uh, give us services in lieu of money. Uh, and that'll work just fine. I mean, if they can pay the police department, if they can pay parks, if they can pay whatever it takes, we don't, we don't have a definite plan because we need to sit down, but they're willing to work with us, and they do understand that. I'm glad they're, well, the county is willing to work with us. Uh, I thought that the subvention money was actually the vehicle license fees, the little extra 15% that we've gotten over the top of uh, sales tax, property tax. We've gotten a little extra for the first five to 10 years, and then each year it decreases. Um, and I don't even know if we've, we haven't even gotten that because of the, the economic times. So it's decreased, decreased, decreased. And how do we live within our budget? I think that is the question. And what is our bottom line budget after all the subventions in the four to five years when there's no extra money? And where do we find it? I think that is a big key. I think there's some good ideas out there. So we just have to keep an open mind and how to, how to save money. And what is our, balance, our, our bottom line? That's what we're looking at.